A context-sensitive grammar is a formal grammar in which the left-hand sides and right-hand sides of any production rules may be surrounded by a context of terminal and non-terminal symbols. Context-sensitive grammars are more general than context-free grammars, in the sense that there are some languages that cannot be described by context-free grammars but can be described by CSG. Context-sensitive grammars are however less general than unrestricted grammars, i.e., CSG occupy the intermediate position between context-free and unrestricted grammars in the Chomsky hierarchy. A formal language that can be described by a context-sensitive grammar, or, equivalently, by a non-contracting grammar or a linear-bounded automaton, is called a context-sensitive language. Some textbooks actually define CSG as non-contracting, although this is not how Noam Chomsky defined it in 1959. This choice of definition makes no difference in terms of the languages generated, but it does make a difference in terms of what grammars are structurally considered context-sensitive. The later issue was analyzed by Chomsky in 1963. Chomsky introduced context-sensitive grammars as a way to describe the syntax of natural language where it is indeed often the case that a word may or may not be appropriate in a certain place depending upon the context. Walter Savage has criticized the terminology context-sensitive as misleading and proposed non-erasing as better explaining the distinction between a CSG and an unrestricted grammar, although it is well known that certain features of languages are not context-free. It is an open research question how much of CSG expressive power is actually needed to capture the context sensitivity found in natural languages. Subsequent research in this area has focused on the more computationally tractable mildly context-sensitive languages. Formal definition. A formal grammar G equals, where N is a set of non-terminal symbols, sigma is a set of terminal symbols, P is a set of production rules, and S is the start symbol, is context-sensitive if all rules in P are of the form alpha A, a beta a alpha gamma beta where A N alpha beta asterisk and gamma plus. A string U asterisk directly yields, or directly derives to, a string V asterisk, denoted as UV, if U can be written as L alpha A, a beta R, and V can be written as L alpha gamma beta R, for some production rule P, and some context strings L, R asterisk. More generally, U is said to yield, or derive to, V, denoted as U asterisk V, if U equals U1, un equals V for some N0 and some strings U2, UN1 asterisk. That is, the relation is the reflexive transitive closure of the relation. The language of the grammar G is the set of all terminal symbol strings derivable from its start symbol, formally, L equals W sigma asterisk. S asterisk W. Derivations that do not end in S string composed of terminal symbols only are possible, but don't contribute to L. The only difference between this definition of Chomsky and that of unrestricted grammars is that gamma can be empty in the unrestricted case. Some definitions of a context-sensitive grammar only require that for any production rule of the form UV, the length of U shall be less than or equal to the length of E. This seemingly weaker requirement is in fact weakly equivalent. See non-contracting grammar hashtag transforming into context-sensitive grammar. In addition, a rule of the form S lambda where lambda represents the empty string and S does not appear on the right-hand side of any rule is permitted. The addition of the empty string allows the statement that the context-sensitive languages are a proper superset of the context-free languages rather than having to make the weaker statement that all context-free grammars with no lambda productions are also context-sensitive grammars. The name context-sensitive is explained by the alpha and beta that form the context of A and determine whether A can be replaced with gamma or not. This is different from a context-free grammar where the context of a non-terminal is not taken into consideration. 
Indeed, every production of a context-free grammar is of the form VW where V is a single non-terminal symbol, and W is a string of terminals and or non-terminals, W can be empty. If the possibility of adding the empty string to a language is added to the strings recognized by the non-contracting grammars then the language is in. These two definitions are identical. The left context and right context sensitive grammars are defined by restricting the rules to just the form alpha a alpha gamma and to just a beta gamma beta, respectively. The languages generated by these grammars are also the full class of context sensitive languages. The equivalence was established by Pentanen normal form. Examples. The following grammar, with start symbol S, generates the canonical non-context-free language, ANBNCN. N1. Rules 1 and 2 allow for blowing up S to ANBCN1. Rules 3 to 6 allow for successively exchanging each CB to BC. Rule 7 allows for replacing a non-terminal B with its corresponding terminal B, provided it is in the right place. A generation chain for A A A B B B C C C is S2 A S B C 2 A A S B C B C 1 A A A B C B C B C 3 A A A B W B C B C 4 A A A B W X C B C 5 A A A B B X C B C 6 A A A B B C C B C 3 A A A B B C W B C 4 A A A B B C W X C 5 A A A B B C B X C 6 A A A B B C B C C 3 a A A B B W B C C 4 A A A B B W X C C 5 A A A B B B X C C 6 A A A B B B C C C 7 A A A B B B C C C 7 A A A B B B C C C More complicated grammars can be used to pass A N B N C N D N N 1 and other languages with even more letters. A context-sensitive grammar for the language a 2 i i1 is constructed in example 9.5 of Kuroden normal form. Every context-sensitive grammar which does not generate the empty string can be transformed into a weakly equivalent one in Kuroden normal form. Weakly equivalent here means that the two grammars generate the same language. The normal form will not in general be context-sensitive but will be a non-contracting grammar. The Kuroden normal form is an actual normal form for non-contracting grammars. Properties and uses. Equivalence to linear bounded automaton A formal language can be described by a context-sensitive grammar if and only if it is accepted by some linear bounded automaton. In some textbooks this result is attributed solely to Landweber and Kuroda. Others call it the myhill landweber kuroda theorem. As of 2010 update, it is still an open question whether every context-sensitive language can be accepted by a deterministic LBA. Closure properties Context-sensitive languages are closed under complement. This 1988 result is known as the Immerman Silly PC Say New Theorem. Moreover, they are closed under union, intersection, concatenation, substitution, inverse homomorphism, and clean plus. Every recursively enumerable language L can be written as H for some context sensitive language L and some string homomorphism H. Computational problems The decision problem that asks whether a certain string S belongs to the language of a given context-sensitive grammar G is PSPACE complete. Moreover, there are context-sensitive grammars whose languages are PSPACE complete. In other words, there is a context-sensitive grammar G such that deciding whether a certain string S belongs to the language of G is PSPACE complete. The emptiness problem for context-sensitive grammars equals is undecidable. As model of natural languages Savage has proven the following theoretical result, on which he bases his criticism of CSGs as basis for natural language. For any recursively enumerable set R, 
there exists a context-sensitive language, Grammar G, which can be used as a sort of proxy to test membership in R in the following way. Given a string S, S is in R if and only if there exists a positive integer and for which S C N is in G, where C is an arbitrary symbol not part of R. It has been shown that nearly all natural languages may in general be characterized by context-sensitive grammars, but the whole class of CSG seems to be much bigger than natural languages. Worse yet, since the aforementioned decision problem for CSGs is PSPACE complete, that makes them totally unworkable for practical use. As a polynomial time algorithm for a PSPACE complete problem would imply P equals NP. It was proven that some natural languages are not context-free, based on identifying so-called cross-serial dependencies and unbounded scrambling phenomena. However this does not necessarily imply that all the class CSG is necessary to capture context sensitivity in the colloquial sense of these terms. In natural languages, for example, the strictly weaker linear context-free rewriting systems can account for the phenomenon of cross-serial dependencies. One can write a LCFRS grammar for ANBNCNDN N1, for example. Ongoing research on computational linguistics has focused on formulating other classes of languages that are mildly context-sensitive, whose Decision problems are feasible, such as tree-adjoining grammars, combinatory categorial grammars, coupled context-free languages, and linear context-free rewriting systems. The languages generated by these formalisms properly lie between the context-free and context-sensitive languages. More recently, the class PTIME has been identified with range concatenation grammars which are now considered to be the most expressive of the mild context-sensitive languages.